When you've made a lot of symbols yourself, you have one big challenge, and that challenge is uh, to inform everybody else about what your symbols mean and what they're meant to document. And for that, we have a small module which is found here in Tools, and it's called Symbol Documentation. If I go in and click this one, Symbol Documentation, I can go in and say that all the symbols that I have in the current project, I want to document those. And uh, I simply select current project and click OK. And then it generates a list of all or a picture of all the symbols that I've used in the project. And uh, it asks me whether I want to include it into the project. I could say yes here. Because then it adds a chapter divider called symbol documentation. And then all the symbols that I used in my projects are placed here with a small, you can see here, small description at the bottom which is the description that I gave it in the title and also the file name. So the file name and the title and a picture of this symbol. That's what I get when I do the symbol documentation. Very easy way to document your own symbols. This tool can also be used in another way. Uh, and it can be used to, uh, and I'll just click it again, that uh, one specific symbol library that I, that could be the same li uh, symbol library now as the one I, I just made. If I want to make a documentation of all the symbols that I have here, I can go in and select it, or I could select any uh, any any one of the, the directories or, or libraries with the symbols in. But say that I want to have this uh, folder here, I could select uh, yeah, something with visibility of text. You can you can try that yourself later. Or I could make a list of all the symbols too, and then finally I could decide how many I want on the page and and all that. But if I want to document this new library that I just made, I can go in and click OK. And what it makes for me is again one picture of all the symbols that I have in this library. And it has a list, a long list here with all the, the titles and the, the file names of the symbols in that library. So use the symbol documentation whenever you're going to document the symbols that you have made for a specific project. And then it's easy to circulate this file to your colleagues, so print it out and put it in a, in a folder and then that's your documentation of the symbols that you're using for whatever purpose.